idea. You can sit there in all that rain, looking out of your caravan window. Yeah. But you're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Sean, good morning to you. Morning Very to nice you. to see you. What have you got for us? I'll bring you out today with the rest of the news. Yeah, the latest victim of a growing surge of crimes carried out by gangs on mopeds has told this program that police have lost control of the streets. Birmingham MP Steve McCabe uh, was left with facial injuries after being attacked with a brick when he confronted riders over their reckless behaviour. Well, Nick Dixon is at a motorbike training centre in South East London. Nick, uh, what's Mr McCabe calling for? Morning, Sean. I mean, effectively, he just wants the police to take back control uh, of the streets. We're at the stage now where motorcycle training schools like this one are actually having to incorporate much more advice for learners on security and safety as well, not just in terms of riding the bike, but actually making sure that their bike doesn't become part of the problem and taken uh, to be used in these kind of attacks, as well as that the police are looking to uh, change their tactics as well and perhaps consider the use of drones to actually follow these uh, attackers on the streets, on their mopeds, because it's becoming such a huge problem. It's being called an epidemic, a huge rise in mopeds being used for smartphone robberies, back snatches, and even acid attacks. What started in London is spreading. In Birmingham, MP Steve McCabe took photos of two attackers who hit him with a brick. If we don't uh, reassert the position where the police are in command of the streets, then these people are going to create mayhem. Almost 15,000 mopeds and scooters were stolen last year. Moped-related crime rose by 860% over two years, with around 20 phones now being snatched every hour. One of the biggest problems facing police is the danger of pursuing suspects who deliberately remove their helmets. Obviously, when you when somebody's doing that sort of thing, they don't make one mistake. The criminals know this, and they're exploiting the problem, you know, the issue of not being able to chase. The Met Police says it's carrying out targeted operations to detect and prevent moped crimes. But there are calls for officers to use new techniques like drones to catch offenders. Nick Dixon, Good Morning Britain. The Duke of Edinburgh's fire.